Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how I go about drawing a fairly detailed charcoal drawing. So I did record earlier a charcoal drawing tutorial, and that was for more kind of loose, expressive drawing. But let's say you are trying to copy an image like this. This is what I am attempting today. I have here a printed scan of one of Frida Kahlo's self-portraits. I used a grid method to transfer this image onto here. And so I lightly sketched out the image first with mechanical pencil. And I sketched out all of the big shapes. So although it's kind of faint, I've got all of that info on there. And now I want to darken it using charcoal. But I don't want to lose all of my pencil detail, although eventually I don't want any of the pencil to be visible. So um, I have a couple of tricks that I use in order to go about something like this. The materials that I'm going to be using are uh, compressed charcoal, vine charcoal, charcoal pencils, and various ways of smudging charcoal. I have this is a little piece of leather or cloth works the same. Q-tips are also a big favorite of mine. And of course, erasers. And the only two erasers I'm really going to use are a kneaded eraser and a white eraser. What I also have set up is a scrap piece of paper. On this scrap piece of paper, I've got one area where I press down my vine charcoal and another area where I press down my compressed charcoal. And you can kind of think of these areas where they're like wells or like a bank that I'm going to um, use one of my smudgy methods to pick up charcoal from here and then I'll deposit it on my drawing. So I'll be using the charcoal dust with some kind of smudging tool as a way of actually drawing value onto there. This will allow me to add value slowly without losing all of my pencil marks and, and slowly build up. So in this example here, I spent some time in class just laying out some of the basic areas of value. So looking at this one here, I just took primarily my dirty cloth and I didn't, it's so dirty that I didn't even need to add charcoal onto it. I just smudged it under there. Started to lay out some basic values and I also used, so far I've just been using the soft charcoal pencil to reinforce some of my um, pencil underdrawing so that I don't lose that info. So I probably spent, um, it took me maybe two hours to transfer the, the pencil drawing, to set up the grids and transfer the pencil drawing, and I've spent maybe about 45 minutes adding charcoal. So today I'm going to focus in on some more complex areas and um, just see how far I get. And uh, so I'm going to, right now I'm going to hop into that and uh, what you'll see next is a sped up version of me working on some of the more challenging spots. You'll be able to watch the way that I'm working to build up value and I hope it can give you some insight into how to um, draw with a high level of detail with charcoal, even though it's such a messy medium. I love it because it'll give you a range of value that you can't get almost any other way. So I hope this helps.
enjoyed that inspiring royalty free music uh just a couple of thoughts in closing one that i want to reiterate is you want to avoid touching your drawing with your hands so you will notice in the video that i've got usually like a scrap piece of paper or something like that that i'm putting my hands onto and um, i'm also wearing something that covers this part of my hand here so that my skin isn't touching my paper um, it's, it's rather, it's the, the piece of cloth that is, because anytime your hands come in contact with your paper, you run the risk of transferring some of the oil from your hand onto your paper, and that will cause areas, and I've got some areas down here that I kind of messed up on, where um, the oil on your hand is sticky, the charcoal gets stuck onto it, and then you can't erase it off, which is pretty frustrating. Uh, so I just wanted to be sure that you don't run into that problem, and um, you might have noticed in the video that I'm just constantly switching between different types of uh, charcoal. And um, if you got anything from watching your work, I, I really recommend that. Like I'll, I like hold like several things in my left hand at a time so that I'm constantly switching out. Switching, smudging, switching, smudging. I did about an hour of work that you saw recorded and then I did another um, hour maybe just kind of putting in some of the thorns here and everything. So I'm probably at about five hours with this drawing. I imagine it would take me another four to finish it. Um, and budgeting anywhere between nine to 12 hours is reasonable when you're doing a copy like this. One final thing that I wanna mention is as I'm building up the areas of dark values, like the super black um, in the animals and in her hair, I'm uh, meeting with some resistance from the paper. I am using just a regular paper, the same kind that I asked you to buy in your supply list. So it's an 80 pound uh, like sketch sort of student grade paper. Because it's, it's pretty smooth surface, it doesn't really have that much texture. So it doesn't want to hold on to the charcoal. In order to build up a super dark dark, what I would do is um, put in the compressed, rub it in, use my medium charcoal pencil to kind of hatch in a dark black. And then I would use spray fixative to hold that in place. Once I've used it once and used the spray fixative and let it dry, I might go back in with charcoal pencil again and then spray another layer of spray fixative and so on to like build up a layer of dark black that's held in place with spray fixative. So if you're getting frustrated like, oh my God, I can't bring, Bring this like super dark black like to a, to a rich place um, know that it's not you it, it might just be your paper and you can work with the spray fixative to fix that so I hope this was helpful and thank you so much for watching I look forward to seeing what you make